Hello friends, today we will look how we can install MS-DOS in VirtualBox. MS-DOS stands for Microsoft Disk Operating System. It was one of the most widely used operating system in the 1980s and early 1990s. In order to install MS-DOS, we need to install the VirtualBox. Open your favorite browser and search Download VirtualBox. Press Enter. The very first link it will be from the virtual box. Now click on download oracle virtual box. Next you will see this option window hosts. Click on it. And this will start downloading the virtual box. Next go to the location where your virtual box is installed and double click on it. This will launch the installer. Now the installation is pretty simple. Click on next. Again click on next. Click on yes. Now click on the install button and this will start installing the virtual box. Now make sure you enable this start oracle vm and press on the finish button. Now we have successfully installed virtual box. Now we will be creating a new virtual machine for MS-DOS. Click on the new button. Now you can give any name to this virtual machine. I will be calling it MS-DOS. Next, select the type and here select other. Now in the version keep it DOS. Next, select the hardware. And I will be allocating this virtual machine around 3 GB of my RAM and I will allocate 5 processors to it. Next select the hard disk. I will be allocating this virtual machine around 2 GB of my hard disk. Now leave everything as it is and press on the finish button. Now this has created this MS-DOS virtual machine. But still we need to do some configuration so select this MS-DOS and click on setting button. Next go to display and make sure you give the maximum video memory to this virtual machine. Now go to storage and under the floppy disk you will see this empty option. Now click on it. On the right side you will notice we have a floppy disk icon. Click on it. Now click on choose a disk file. From here select the disk one. Now the link will be provided from where you can download these files. Next click on the open button. Now here we have selected the floppy disk because earlier we didn't have the hard disk. In order to install the operating system we relied upon the floppy disk. That's why we have selected the floppy disk. Now click on the OK button. Next we will be installing the MS-DOS in this virtual box. Select MS-DOS and press the start button. Now let me close the notification. Now it is displaying the welcome message. Now press enter on your keyboard. Now here keep the recommended setting and press enter. Now again press enter on your keyboard. Now make sure the date and time and the settings are correct and press enter. Now it is asking where we want to place the files. I will keep it default and press enter. Next we have to set up the disk too. Below the virtual box you can see the floppy disk icon. Now right click on the floppy disk icon and click on choose a disk file. Now from here select the disk 2 and press open. Now press the enter key on your keyboard. Now we have to set up the disk 3. Again right click on the floppy disk icon and select choose a disk file. From here select the disk 3 and press open. Now press the enter key on your keyboard.
Now it is telling that we must remove all the floppy disk drives. Again right click on the floppy disk icon. This time click on remove disk from virtual drive. Click on it. Now press enter on your keyboard. Now it is displaying that MS-DOS setup is complete. Now press enter on your keyboard. Now we have successfully installed MS-DOS in our virtual box. Now you can execute the commands that are provided by MS-DOS. Type dir and press enter. dir command will list all the files and folder that are present in directory. Next type tree command and press enter. Tree command will list file and folders in hierarchical structure. Now type cls and press enter. This will clear your screen. Now if you want to see the available commands in MS-DOS, you can use the help command. Type help and press enter. This will display all the commands that are supported by MS-DOS. Now in order to navigate in this help menu, you can use up and down arrow key on your keyboard. You can also use left and right arrow key on your keyboard. Now suppose if you want to learn more about a particular command, what you can do is you can move your cursor under that command and press enter. Suppose you want to learn more about dir command, so move your cursor under dir and press enter. This will display the syntax of dir command. Now here you will find the available switches which you can use with it. Now notice this forward slash w. This will display the files in wide format. Below you can see it is mentioned we can use alt and b to go back. Press alt and b on your keyboard. Again press alt and b on your keyboard. Now in order to exit this MS-DOS help option what you can do is you can press alt f and x. So on your keyboard press alt f and x. This will exit out of the MS-DOS help option. Now you might be wondering how we shut down this MS-DOS. Now there is no shutdown command using which you will shut down. Earlier in order to shut down the MS-DOS we press the power button. So go to file click on the close option. Now select power of the machine and click on OK button. This will power off your MS-DOS machine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.